care what we have to say right now. No, oh, they're, they're three, psyched for the rally. Two, you're hey, everybody. I think you can see us now. It's Steve. Or say hi, everybody else. Hi, Margaret here. Hi, Liz Willis. Hey, Aaron. I'm not avoiding you by looking at the phone. We have to look at your comments on the, our phones. Gosh, if I could get this to play, that would be really great. Oh, it's not live yet. There's a little bit of a delay. I see what's happening. What's more important, though, is that uh, I can see your comments now. See, look, Aaron, you can look at with me. See, these are all the people's comments. Oh, wow. We are live from Phoenix, Arizona. We all came here today from different places. Steve and I both came from Atlanta. And I flew in from Los Angeles. And I came in from Youngstown, Ohio. Aaron is going to do the camera's work tomorrow like he did the last two rallies, so we're really excited to have him. Maggie, can you see their comments on your phone? I am going to, going to be able to? try. All right. Liz, you can see their comments, right? Yes. I'm so we can all see your comments now. Hey, Music World says, welcome back, Liz Willis. Yay! Liz, do you, you want to tell everybody where you went? I mean, you don't have to, get, you don't have to be too specific. Yeah, you know? this is really cool. I got to go oh, to um, the World Championship for FINA, which is like swimming and water sports in Europe. So that was in Budapest, Hungary this year, and my family and I took a trip for a couple weeks. So I've been gone, but it was cool. I got to see a lot of the world. Yeah, and um, Keep talking, Liz, while we figure this out. <laughs> I, got to, I got to see a lot of the world, and I really enjoyed it. One of the coolest places that I got to see was Budapest. We traveled to um, like Barcelona, Paris, Munich, Budapest, and um, I had never been to Budapest and had the championship not been there, I probably never would have gone, but it is stunning. It's huge and it's just like right on the Danube. I always mess up the pronunciation, I hope that was right, the river, and I don't you know can see Parliament one. and it's just, okay. it lights up at night. So if you ever get a chance and you're in Europe, just take a train over there. It's worth it. It's just absolutely stunning in the architecture. And it's just a really historical city, so it's nice to see. And by the way, just so I know, we know, the camera is on the left side to our left. So the camera is next to Aaron's head and where we're looking, guys, mm -hmm. just so you know. So you want to look to the left of Aaron's head, to the camera. Hey, somebody made a donation already. We didn't even ask. Elizabeth Luker gave $20. She said, stay safe, my friends. God bless. Thank you, Elizabeth. Mm -hmm. It's yeah, very nice of you. It's because she's got a cool name. Um, there you go. So yeah, we wanted to come on. We always do this before the rally, the night before and the night after. And uh, we're in our Airbnb house. It's pretty great. Uh, it has five bedrooms. And I honestly feel, so I did the nice thing. And I didn't just throw my bag on a bed when I came in. But I ended wrong? up with the best room. So Because out. we know better than to not give you the best room. Now, mine was secret. It was like, you know, sometimes people have dreams where, like, you're living in a place and you realize the dream is that you figure out that there's, like, an extra room in your house that you never knew about. That was, like, my room. Like, people didn't know the room was there and we found it out after. And I knew it was there. Private bathroom. <laughs> yeah. I knew it was there. Just, right. if my... you know Steve, you know he needs his own private bathroom. Okay, how, so. hey, cool. somebody else. A Aaron, how was your trip today? Excellent. Tell them. Yeah, flew in from Youngstown and I lay over in Chicago. Uh, flight was smooth and it's good to be here in Phoenix. Hot. A lot harder than back home in Ohio, but it's nice to see all the comments on here, and we're excited for the rally tomorrow. So, except it being 106 degrees. Yes. It's even hot now that the sun's gone down. So we were walking back, and Steve was just like, "Is the heat coming up from the ground?" I think so. I think they have heaters installed <laughs> under the ground here. But we actually, our big debate tonight is: Are we going to wear shorts during the pre-show tomorrow outside because it's so hot out? I, I think mm -hmm. I am. If Steve does, I will. So that's two. <laughs> Liz was thinking about it. Maggie, I'm not sure. I'm going to be wearing these shorts tomorrow, actually. <laughs> I think I'm going to have to wear my pants. <laughs> uh, hold on. It's so fine. Let's see what the comments are saying. Margaret looking tan. Hola. There we go. <laughs> it's not LA We're night. in Phoenix. We're in Phoenix for the rally. You know, we heard there might be some protesters. The person at the rental car place told us she thought there might be some protesters. Also, she implied that to have fun, you have to have margaritas first, which I have a bit of an issue with. Mm -hmm. But anyways, uh, also she thought Maggie was tall. But um, but uh, well, there might be protesters, but we're hoping if there's like violent protests, well, we're hoping there aren't any, but if there are them, that they come after we go inside. We're gonna go inside the rally probably around four or so. And, we'll, and so that's three hours before the rally starts. So maybe we'll miss them. That's what happened in Nashville. We went inside the rally, and then an hour later after we went inside, we looked outside, and there were all these protesters there. So 
That's my thoughts on it. You guys have any thoughts on protesters? Well, I think it's going to be more than obviously Youngstown and um, West Virginia. Mm -hmm. I mean, just based on the climate, the atmosphere, and we're a few hours from, you know, California. I could see a lot more action this time. We've gotten two more donations. Oh, let me say, oh, so thank you. Kayla thank Dickens. Oh, go read, read, read their message. I'm, I'm finding, I'm looking. So Kayla said, I sent you a DM on Twitter, Steve. There's a petition to make face concealment illegal at the rallies. Stay safe tomorrow. Thank you. Drink water. Mm -hmm. You know, you can click on the top too. Click and click there. See? Oh, that makes sense too. Well, here's the next right. one. It's from whatever, 3210. Thank you guys. God bless. Thank you. Thank you for the donations, guys. Uh, so we're going to use the donations basically to help us cover the rally. It's quite expensive to go to the rally. Uh, because not because we got a palatial house. Although the house is, we're happy with our house, but we we, we try to. It's a, we actually spend less staying in Airbnb, way less than we would be staying in a hotel, which is why we do it. But also, and also because I get an awesome private bathroom. But also, um, uh, the internet, as some of you know, is costing us. I kid you not, eighteen hundred dollars. Mm. And Joe has. I think Joe's going to show on the screen right now. Uh, the invoice for the internet to prove we're not lying. There's this one company that that controls the internet monopoly, like a monop as a monopoly in several of the venues that the rallies are at, and they gouge us. They initially asked us for to pay eight thousand dollars for the internet, and it's like bad internet. It's not. It's like it's like worse than you might even have at home. Um, and uh, and Joe and Joe was just like no because he paid less for that previously with them. So they. Their, their final offer was eighteen hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. Oh, there we go. Look. What? The invoice is up. Oh, did you put it up? Yeah. There it is. It's on the screen. See? Look, guys. Eighteen hundred dollars. Wait, I'm looking. Eighteen hundred. My screen is so small. Eighteen twenty forty-five. Honestly, that's ridiculous. So uh, your donations will help us reimburse the internet cost of eighteen hundred dollars tomorrow, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, we really look forward to covering the rally for you. And uh, what else was I going to say? Yeah, so, so if you, oh, I should tell them, if you want to donate, how can they donate, guys? Somebody to say how they can donate. No one. I'll have to do this myself. This is like when I would teach and people wouldn't answer questions. <laughs> you Aaron, can you know, donate is there a bell down there? via this oh, super chat. Oh, hold on. Aaron just, said, Aaron just said one of the ways. Aaron, repeat that. Is there a bell underneath the video in the description there? Is a bell on YouTube underneath the YouTube chat. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Aaron. For helping the chat. <laughs> Danny, do either you guys want to help yes. this thing go well or do you want to just get so away? You can click the, the dollar sign at the bottom and it's in the chat room. It's three simple clicks. You just click it initially, add the dollar amount and press send. It's super easy. I think you gotta put in your card number. You do have to do that. Okay. But three clicks. I I mean it can be easy. Well, if you okay, so that's one way. <laughs> and the PayPal way is Liz, do you wanna say it or do you want me to say it? I've been gone for a while. What is it like yeah, paypal.com? Okay. I'm putting her on the spot. Slash R rsbn.tv slash donate rsbn.tv slash donate you can donate to us through paypal that way and somebody else is donating tom o'neill uh says hi steve and maggie welcome back liz hi aaron rep in my hometown youngstown ohio have fun thank you tom hey. for the donation you met tom did you meet tom in uh, uh ohio i think so i was there so i must have let me see if i yeah 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 actually yeah he was the guy who was wearing the cool suit yep yeah well thank you and then maggie and i we went to meet we went to, where was it? The biggest, it was the biggest, okay, I don't want to say the name of the place. Say it. Do you remember what it was? Yeah. Wait, what? Oh yeah, I can't say You're can't say so mature. You can't say it on here. I forgot. You had the pinstripe suit, right? Mm. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Somebody's texting me. Never thought I'd be hanging out with co Oh, yes. Make me feel more mature. I'm for, I forgot. I was supposed to tell them guys. If you donate on rsbn.tv slash donate, it used to be that you wouldn't see your name on the screen, but Joe and Jake have figured out a way that if you donate at rsbn.tv slash donate, you will see your name on the screen. Also, I think if you subscribe, you'll see your name on the screen mm -hmm. too. So subscribe to us on YouTube and click the notifications bell. Uh, Chris, hey, somebody tell, t uh, somebody's talking about the, what, I'm sorry, Liz, you going to say we, Did we mention Christine Bestian? No. She, I think she's a gold star mom. Yes, she is. Um, but she said, my son would have been proud of President Trump tonight in memory of SPC Dennis G. Jensen, 8611 Afghanistan. Mm -hmm. It breaks my heart, but thank you so much for, thank your you, for everything you've sacrificed for our country. We actually, we had to, 
go to eat during President Trump's speech because we had just gotten in, we wanted to come do the chat, but we were all dying of hunger. But we were, uh, we were following the tweet, the, the speech during our, our chat. Uh, and uh, Maggie, you, do you want to say any thoughts you had about the speech? Oh, well, sure. So, you know, for those of us who voted for President Trump, and I'm one of them, and supported him as a reporter throughout the past year, um, this speech, so if you recall President Obama in 2009 gave a speech about how Afghanistan was not a blank check, we basically heard President Trump say that again tonight. We're talking about a 16-year war. And that has a lot of, you know, the, the impact on American families. Where I come from in Kentucky, you know, when you hear that, you kind of gasp because you don't want to see the status quo. And he makes a good point about there being a terrorist vacuum with Al-Qaeda and ISIS, and we can't let it go to hell like we did Iraq when we pulled out. But at the same time, you, you kind of leave that speech with a heavy heart because the entire campaign message was, you know, these these ridiculous wars that have us bogged down, that are taking our resources, that are costing American lives. Uh, you know, you, you felt like he was gonna put a stop to that. And tonight for me, it's not a disappointment, but it's it's a it's a concern because that was one of the major points for me in supporting President Trump. You know, these these costly foreign wars that we engage in, we never get out of. They're they're incredibly um, disheartening, I will say. But he's doing what he has to do. And keep in mind, and I'm sorry to keep going, guys, but three generals around him with Kelly, Mattis, and McMaster, and. They're clearly advising him, and it's just, it just remains to be seen what happens. We can't just leave, but at the same time, you wanted a, a different approach than what we heard from, from President Obama. Thank you, Maggie. We just got a donation from Jason Thornton, who gave $2, and he said, RSBN rocks, delete CNN, mainstream media, go POTUS. Mm -hmm. And before that was Elizabeth Luker. Stay safe, my friends. God bless. Wait, she donated it again? Did we already mention it? Yeah, but that was that was early on. Yes. Well, it's like my next one. Sorry. Sometimes I'm reading everything. It's okay. We can mention her twice. I, I don't mind mentioning her twice. All right, let's look at your comment. Let's look at their comments for a second. We're just looking at all of your comments that you're sending in. Thank you. Someone said, did Trump look directly at the eclipse? I wasn't there, but I saw pictures and I thought they were really I funny. I think he briefly did look directly at the I think so, eclipse, too. I and think. then it looks like his wife made him put on some glasses. <laughs> Uh, what else? What else can we say? So um, it's going to be really hot tomorrow for the pre-show. It's going to be like it's supposed to be like 106 degrees, um, and uh, I, hopefully we don't all get sunburned tomorrow. We're going to go out after this and get suntan. Uh, is it suntan lotion? No, sun sun block? Right. The I suntan guess. lotion. Is that is that phrase stopped being used like in 1973? <laughs> I remember my parents used to say that to me. Uh, oh, Elizabeth Luker made another donation. She did do it again. Read it. Headed to bed, little more help on the bills. It takes money to keep y'all on the road, and I'm thankful for y'all. I wish I could do rallies, etc. War Eagle. Woo! War Eagle, Elizabeth. I love that. Thank you. Hey, Aaron, can you tell, Aaron's our cameraman. Aaron, can you tell them, you do uh, some stuff on, well, it's your, your work, but what, how do you, how do you, what is your job that you do? Uh, it's very interesting, back in Ohio. Well, mostly I just do wedding videos, and, um, that's really my passion, but I enjoy doing the rallies as well. And uh, you know, it's a nice change of pace. I like enjoy I enjoy the wedding day, and it's really fun and exciting, and just getting to see people on their happiest day of their lives. And you know, coming to the rallies and stuff is just great. Um, I've done the one in Youngstown, and now the one in West Virginia, and now this one. So um, I'm curious if I'll get to see some of the same people we saw in the past, and just spending the day with these fine people and getting to see the president it's really an honor if somebody out there is having a wedding uh will you do their video absolutely. i know it's not to pay you but absolutely how far will you travel to do somebody's wedding i will travel anywhere we've done destination weddings as far as down to the florida keys from ohio so if you're in the youngstown area and would like a wedding video aaronpangio.com oh is that where they go aaron pangio can you spell that for them Maybe, can they see your videos there absolutely so even even if you don't have it you're not gonna have a wedding you, if you just want to see aaron's work go to how do you spell it aaron a-a-r-o-n-p-a-n-g-i-o.com cool hey somebody else made a donation we have a erga 2016 and Carolyn a yippity 68. Yay, thank, thank you guys for the donations. Oh, Erga said 260,000 subscribers, please, if you can. Are we up to 2,260,000? 2, really? No, that's how many subscribers no, we have. We have it now. No, but I'm, no, I don't mean the video. I mean, 
We have your right side broadcasting on YouTube now has 260,000. That's gone up about 10,000 in the last week and a half. That's awesome. So that's good. That's good news. Hope you guys enjoyed the eclipse today. I was on a plane during the eclipse. I didn't see it. Did you guys see it at all? Nope. No. I was on the same plane as you. I was on the ground in Chicago, but it was just all gray outside. I didn't see the sun. I didn't see anything, unfortunately. Oh, sure. We got another donation from Sugary. Our uh, RSBN family, thank you for you. Thank you guys for the donation. It's very nice. And again, we're not just looking at our... When we look at our phones, we're looking at your comments. That's what we're doing. Uh, Roger Vega. Oh. <laughs> Here, Maggie, Maggie, you can read this one from Roger Vega. I can't see this tiny. Whoa, oh. we just got a $50 um, donation. T.Y., Steve, Liz, Maggie, Aaron, MAGA, um, hashtag RSBN. That's from Roger Vega. Here we you, go. You can read the next one. Already donated 15, here's 50 more. I love what you guys are doing. I actually live in Tempe, Arizona. Have a good night, guys. Who gave that, Maggie? Um, Kyle Allen Music. Thanks, Kyle. Thank you, Kyle Allen wow, Music. Wow, $50, wow. wow. And he already donated 50 before. That's really nice of you, Kyle Allen Music. Um, what else can we say? I'm looking at some more comments here. I'll let Alan, Aaron see them. It says, hey, Steve and crew, can you eat more than McDonald's tonight? We had a lovely dinner, and we're going to tell you about it right now. But first, Alan Kendrick gave $5. What did he say, Aaron? Thanks for being there, guys. Thank you. Uh, so we just had a lovely dinner because we were staying at an Airbnb, and our host said, there's a place three houses down, a restaurant. And so we went there and ate. Uh, and I think we all, we all enjoyed our meals. Anyone want to talk about their food, what they got? I never disclose what I eat. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> that's a safe route to go. <laughs> I got a burger, and the mac and cheese was excellent. And I really feel like staying at the Airbnb, it makes you, it helps get a better feel for the city rather than just being at a hotel. So I think it's a nice experience. I found out that in Phoenix, a lot of the lamps don't work. <laughs> I think that just might be the house. No. Um, I had, uh, but the house was great, by the way, except for the lamps not working. I had some steak on top of a salad and some awesome uh what was it it was black beans, beans. Black, black beans, beans. that's kind, that's kind of they beans accidentally it was. gave him cheese so i had to send him back no cheese <laughs> talk hey liz you had an interesting meal what'd you have yes like, can you not, if you don't want to talk about it, you don't have to it's okay i had a poke bowl so i'm like big on seared tuna any type of ahi tuna so it's like that on top of edamame avocados carrots um Big screens, really whatever you want to throw in there. It's kind of like a Asian bowl. Love it. So that was our dinner. I, we hope you guys had a good dinner too. David Elkins gave twenty dollars and said, "Thank you, RSBN. Thank you, guys. Thank you, David. And again, can we show again, Joe, that receipt for how much the internet is costing us at this? So rally? a lot of people want to know like where the donations are going. So it sounds like like. It takes a lot just to get anybody like in the same city. So every time Trump, you know, announces, President Trump announces where he has to go, we have to immediately figure out how the four of us are going to get yep. somewhere. So our boss like scours the internet trying to find the best flights for us or whether or not we have to drive. And it just made more sense to fly this time. But um, so we, we had to rent a car we for had to town. Rent flight, rental car, and we do the best we can to save money, which is why we're at an Airbnb versus a hotel because it's actually cheaper with four people just to have a house um, than to get a hotel room for four people, even at like, you know, one of the cheapest hotels you can find. And so with Airbnb, flight, car, food. Internet. Joe's gonna show the receipt for this internet, how much it costs. Joe, yeah, just the put, internet's ridiculous. That's put that up biggest, on the screen again, how much the internet's costing us at this rally. Like by far the biggest expense is the internet. Which it's a monopoly. Is just, and that's like do or die. Like you, you have to have that. Otherwise, we wouldn't be able to bring all this rally. My chat has stopped. Now there it goes again. But I don't see the. At some point, you'll see the. You'll see that. So if you want to donate uh, and help, oh, it's been up. Yeah, but I want to see it again, Joe. Can we see it again? <laughs> I know, Joe. Come on, Joe. Just humor me. Put it up one more time because it's so crazy. <laughs> I'm making Joe put it on the air again. He says it's still up. Oh, Joe, I'm watching. I am watching this stream on my YouTube on my phone and it's not there. See, Joe? I don't know if you can see, but it's not there on my screen. Steve is not a vegetarian. That man eats many cows and many chickens. Push live. Ha! I see what happened. I wasn't watching it live. 
I see Joe. I got it, Joe. I got it, Joe. I got it, Joe. I got it. So it's thank you, Joe. Over eighteen hundred dollars just to stream the video. Yes, just to get internet so we can stream the video to these guys live. It's eighteen hundred dollars. So that's where your your donations really are helping us cover the rally, mm -hmm. and hopefully not lose money on it. Uh, if you'd like to donate again, click on the dollar sign at the bottom of the YouTube chat. Very easy to do. And uh, or you can go to rsbn.tv slash donate, rsbn.tv slash donate, and your name will appear on the screen if you donate either way. How cool is that? Super cool. Hold on, I have to get this text message. Someone Hi. else say something. <laughs> Hi, Pam. I saw that you are near Phoenix, and hopefully you're going to be at the rally tomorrow because we would all love to see you. Um, if not, just maybe we can run into you somewhere else. But wow, wow, we wow. Ugh. Joanne, you reading it, Steve? I can't because I have to text uh, our, our, thank our you. Airbnb host texted me. I need to text him back. Thank, is he mad at us yet? No. Joanne, thank you for your incredibly generous donation. Honestly, that's amazing. That really helps, you know, put a day in the expenses. So we appreciate that. And we got another donation? That's awesome. Yeah, $50. Wow, thank so, you. Yeah, that was Joanne. We are, we're all really excited to be here. Uh, I love having Maggie, and it's been months since i've seen her um yeah. and it's nice for me to meet aaron so i'm i'm really glad to be back and thank you all for having me and i think so maggie well. and liz bonded at dinner tonight I we were bond. already bonded i don't steve doesn't think we like each other we like each other wow. but he's trying to like feed them i know i know it's, like, like, yeah. everything. it's because when you get two women together you just assume uh, we I think we get along better than Steve and Maggie get along. Okay. By the way, Aaron and I have been mansplaining nonstop <laughs> to Liz and Maggie, just so you know. That's not true. We have to womansplain everything to them because they don't understand. No, I'm glad you guys are bonding. Thank you. Just give us more wine. Be fine. They split a glass of wine. Yeah. They bonded it over one. Just one. We split uh, just see. one. Watchman1117 just gave uh, $10. Thank you, Watchman117 or 117. I said 1117, it's 117. Thank you. Oh, and you can see it on the screen, see? What screen? Oh, that's me. See, you can this see, so see cool. it, it comes up when they donate. When they donate, it comes oh. up there. Is it's someone not, typing that in? No, uh, Jake and Joe figured out a way to like program a script in that it automatically does it. So if you're watching the video full screen, you can still see the donations. Coming yes, up. that's Sweet. really cool. Huh. Carl Hi. Peterson says Maggie's laugh is the best of all. And your legs. I've been reading a lot of comments about those Wow. Too. I don't need to flash the world. So we are so hot. Yeah. We're about to like. I don't think people want me to like, Woo! You know, and so I <laughs> literally, I wish that I Whoa! had. Whoa! Hundred doll hairs. From Sorry. Randy Ireland. Read it, Liz. Read it, Maggie. I interrupted you. All yeah. right. So thank, thanks to all you guys. You did an awesome and great job and invaluable service to our great country. You're welcome. Make America great again. Thank you so much, Randy Ireland. Really appreciate it. That's huge. Thank you. Thank you. I'm not man spreading Keith McLeod. I am. I, I am not doing that. That's where the. That's where I draw the line. We are like a sitcom. What? You and I specifically. Look what happens when I get close enough to touch him. Hold on. Just no, don't do it. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> It's not getting nutty here. Uh. <clears throat> We're just looking at your uh, comments here. The brunette female is a Republican. I cannot speak for the other two brunettes. You never really hear a man being called a brunette. No. No. So is that... Is it only girls? Whatever. I don't know. Uh, Carl Peterson wants to toss the feed to Aaron for a bit. Aaron, uh, do you think... What, what, are you, what are you thinking about the idea of there being like protesters out there tomorrow, Aaron? Are you concerned about that at all? Uh, yes, I'm a, I'm a little nervous about the whole thing. Um, you know, I think the last couple rallies I've done have been, uh, you know, primarily Trump supporters. Mm -hmm. So I think there's a different demographic here. And... Uh, you know, being a larger city, and I'm a little, you know, apprehensive about it, but I, I think it'll be okay, and I think they've done a really good job about security and keeping things organized, other than the line at the last 
rally in Huntington, West Virginia when the lion yeah. kind of caved in. Hopefully it stays single file this time. I'm yeah. not texting By the way, anyone. I, I forgot something. I'm I not texting. Something. Hold it, hold my phone for a second. Hold on, let me get out of here. This I'm coming back in one second. I totally forgot. I'm not texting my boyfriend or my girlfriend, whoever said that. <laughs> well, I'm I literally you reading y'all's comments, which comes so fast, and if I look away, I miss it. And I would hate to do that, so. Your stan, a poocha fake. Oh. Liz, I'm more important than your boyfriend right now. Stop texting. I'm not texting. I'm reading y'all's comments. <laughs> Bring pepper spray. We didn't see the eclipse. We were on flight. So I miss, we all missed once in a lifetime opportunities to be here today. And we are proud of it. Wouldn't have it any other way. Mm -hmm. Peace Sale said, thanks RSB and family. Safe, stay safe tomorrow. Thank you. We're, we all think that we'll be pretty safe. We, we generally go into the arenas um, a few hours before the show and from our past experience, the protesters actually get there, you know, a little bit after that, before we're actually, you know, through security. So I'm not too worried. Um, we know that some travesties have happened, but I think it'll be okay. And I'm praying for, you know, any protesters to come tomorrow that they are peaceful and that everything is peaceful tomorrow. By the way, if you want one of these, tpublic.com and search RSBN, tpublic.com. I'd forgotten to wear my shirt. And guess who's going to have oh, her own polo nice. shirt tomorrow? All right, I'm not going to take any of Steve's shirts. I mean, <laughs> I did the last two rallies, but that's only because I hate packing. I hate packing things. And the last shirt Can you show me, them the size of what you brought today? Oh, well, it's upstairs. Go get it, go get it. Go get it. No, <laughs> I, I, it's fine. Now you, it's the purpose place. of this is to entertain okay. them. I'm going to go get the shirt for you guys because Steve is, is making it. Because I care about our viewers. But before I do that, let me just say that the last shirt that I got, it shrank down to nothing. Right. <laughs> nothing. Okay. Just, just like, I'll be right back. Okay. Maggie's going to come and show you. Around. He likes to like get me to do stuff. Huh? I'll be right back. All right. So Maggie's going to show you all of her luggage that she brought today. And Thank it's you. actually more than she usually brings. Thank you, Pam C., for giving that comment. Oh, okay. This is not a chat room for any racist or white nationalists, and it shouldn't matter my ethnicity. So Strung Out asks about this shirt. Strung Out says he likes this shirt or she likes this shirt. Strung Out, if you want this shirt, this color is navy heather, and it's... There's different models of shirts. I get the extra soft one. It's called, I think, the Tri-Blend. And it's a little more expensive, but I really like it. And the Tri-Blend has navy heather. So if you want this color, get the Tri-Blend extra soft navy heather. Yeah, I like that. It's a, it has the little, almost like a little bit of peppercorn color in it. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's not like a solid blue. It's very nice. Mm -hmm. All right. Wait, you didn't get, I meant your bag. Oh, gosh, no. Never, never. That's embarrassing. <laughs> no, but I, luggage? No, I just wanted you to show... What people, what I, how I pack? Yeah, you never bring anything. Well, I, I got, okay, first of all, well, I got the shirt. Oh, it's her new shirt. That Steve graciously made for me. Thank you, Steve. But oh, wow. I want, Thanks to Liz's tip about where to make it. <laughs> Thank you, Liz. Shout out to wow. all of our right side staff. But, all right, guys, so guys, I traveled for, I mean, I've been a reporter for six years, and we've carried lots and lots of luggage. And the, these past, I guess, two years, I just basically carry a purse now <laughs> with a toothbrush in it and like uh, clean shorts or it's just I'm, I'm kind of over the whole Maggie asked me earlier today if I could make an extra RSB and ID for her and I was like why she said well that way you can <laughs> always bring it in case I forget mine <laughs> That's thinking ahead. We all look similar. <laughs> He's so organized. Like really Oh, like, an ad, like a Maggie ID. Like he should He's just... You like, should just mail him like an extra driver's He's license so or passport. Organized. Oh my gosh. And very efficient. Yes. And it's nice. And he made and this glorious shirt. And Steve, I give him a lot of flack, but he really is on top of, on top of our stuff. Making your shirt. He actually messaged me for details on the shirt. That was really endless. Gave it to him. So. Mm -hmm. I responded. <laughs> Thank you, Ron Miller. Just gave a hundred dollars through PayPal. Lord. Thank you, Ron Miller. That's very nice of you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, yes, he says it right there. Oh, somebody just came uh, up yeah. and it disappeared. Yeah. So, Joe, if you can let us know what the PayPal ones, because they come up on the screen, but we miss them sometimes. So. I Thank put you, my Joe. phone Maybe. down, so oh. I'm not texting. We're gonna read reading your comments. Sorry, those I interrupted. That's cool. Uh, 
Uh, we got a new donation, and Aaron's going to tell you who it's from. Uh, Timothy Frampton. And what does he say? Loving your show. When are you guys expanding to Kanakistan? Yes, he gave 10 Canadian dollars. Oh. Thank you, Timothy Frampton. That's very nice of you. Hmm. This is so weird. What? To be able to, like, hear what people are thinking mm -hmm. in real time. Yeah. It's a little freaky. Sometimes it's sad because <laughs> they don't like you. Oh, let's talk about, <laughs> let's talk about tomorrow. Um, I just put mine down <laughs> for a little bit. Uh, tomorrow, um, so, do you guys think that President Trump is going to pardon, announce that he's going to pardon Sheriff Joe oh. Arpaio tomorrow? Oh. I wouldn't be surprised. How do the people of Arizona feel about him? I'm guessing would this be, would. Would this be the place to do it, or would he do it, you know? This would be the place. Well, his, the people at the rally are probably big fans of, of, of President Trump's and probably Arpaio, I would think. Okay. But he's the tent city sheriff, right? Yeah. yeah the, the tent city sheriff. Um, what is He had the tent city for the jail where the inmates wore pink. I don't even know. Yeah, I have not heard about that. Yeah. I think it may be wrong. No, I, I don't think you're wrong. I'm just saying. Is that the same sheriff? Maybe somebody in the comments will let me know. Yeah, they'll definitely um, let us know. Whenever, you're, whenever you're like wrong. Then... Yeah. Um, I know there but was you're a, probably right. You're probably right. There was a sheriff in Arizona, and once they ran out of room in their jails, he built tents, and that's where the inmates lived. Huh. And all they also wore pink as a way to. I don't you know. know. I just knew that he was strict on immigration. But there were some other issues that came along later. And that's where the pardon comes in. So. Somebody was it Maggie? Was it you or was it Liz? One of you was one of you saying that you thought that maybe he would introduce at the rally mm -hmm. uh, a candidate that would run against Jeff Flake. That was me. Or, that was... or was it you? Did no, you? No, maybe, no, no, that's maybe totally we both talked about it. I don't know. I think I think it's very possible that he'll announce his Republican candidacy. That could happen too. Well. Not only that, but we've got a congressional candidate we hope to feature tomorrow. He messaged he wants to come on right side. He's he's running in a pretty tight, you know, a pretty hostile race against yeah. a pretty prominent Democratic member. And so hopefully you guys will show him some love. And if you live in the 43rd District of California, you know exactly who I'm talking about. Can you not say his name? Omar Navarro and is his name. Who is he running against? He's running against Maxine Waters. And... He just needs support. He needs he needs people that live there to, to come out and vote for him. And you know, we're talking about a lady who's been in power for thirty years and she's got one of the most poor, crime ridden districts in existence. And meanwhile, as a public servant, she's become incredibly wealthy. She doesn't even live in the district. She lives in a place called Hancock Park, which if you know anything about Los Angeles, it's an incredibly wealthy area. And this guy, it's it's sort of a David and Goliath type of a battle that he's looking at, and um, we're going to show him some love tomorrow. So. Now, Maxine just gave ten dollars in PayPal, but I don't think it's Maxine. No, Waters. wow, I doubt it. What Thank a you, Maxine. <laughs> yeah, good luck. Diane Treon, I'm so sorry if I mispronounced that. Said today's question. I'm concerned about. The violent protesters getting there early for the line, but mostly worried about leaving the event. Leaving the event is, being there early, we've never really seen protesters, but speaking, I think I was with Steve at this, we were leaving one rally and we saw a lot of riot gear and police, and sometimes it makes you feel like you're in a dangerous situation, but at the same time, you're really never safer than when you're surrounded by like at least 100 officers and, and military giant horses. personnel with giant horses like Clydesdales and riot gear. So I am, I'm personally not scared. I know that we are in good hands and Secret Service does a really good job going thoroughly through everything. Mm -hmm. It's just a matter of hoping that people can um, be peaceful. By the way, we just got a text from our Airbnb host. And he said that as compensation for the cable TV not working here, we're allowed to use the upstairs guest house. Oh. Uh -huh. So Steve. we might have a fight later about who gets to use that. <laughs> Steve is hot. Is he single? Steve is single. Holla. And someone earlier wanted to know if you were on like Tinder or Bumble or anything. I'm not, sadly. I am a total dweeb and am not on either one of those. Wow. <laughs> is Tinder the one where you go trolling to like hook up with people? 
No, I mean, it's like the you, you me. see like a picture and you click like it's swiping. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. The swiping. And then if they like you, you. Oh, I, that's, that's what too I heard. Much <laughs> <laughs> wow. That is too much. So my friends told me. Not to mention, um, you know, when somebody sees a picture of you or multiple pictures of you and they read your little blurb and then they meet you in person. I mean, how disappointing is it to actually meet someone in person that you, you know, that you assume is going to be one way? And um, I will say this though. I feel bad for anyone that's actually had to meet me. I um, have never gone out with a viewer and I actually did. I got the best email I've ever gotten in my life. And I met this guy in person and I thought, you know what? Your email and your photograph, they don't seem anything like you in person. So I'm, I'm anti-online anything dating-wise, hmm. as far as that's concerned. Yeah. Anyway, we are hmm. off topic there. <laughs> I'm, I'm loving his comments we've right all, now. We've all talked about our websites. Aaron, what is your relationship status? <laughs> I am married, three children. Very nice. How old are they? Oh, 14, 13, and nine. Very cool. Mm -hmm. Very cool. If you have any Ohio questions, ask Aaron, because he's an Ohio native. Well, yeah. So home that he might Yeah, actually, I grew up in the southern portion of the state, right on the Ohio River, and then uh, moved up north to Youngstown, so top and bottom. Somebody says that window is so hot. The window. The, the window. The window. Yes. Steve's yes. hot and the window is hot. No, just the window. <laughs> Pam C, you're not chatting right now, but I am curious if you ever answered, I must have missed it. Are you gonna be there tomorrow? Are you gonna be at the rally? Or are, uh, any, are any of y'all planning to be at the rally? Yeah, let us, come up and say hi to us if you're gonna be at the rally. Uh, also, uh, we're, we're, I'm very excited because we're gonna do our, our, our traditional Walmart run after this broadcast where we go out and we get all the stuff that we need for tomorrow. Well. And wine for the girls. I might go to bed. I'm on like Eastern time. You don't have to go. I'm going. I'll just send you a list. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I will go. He does his I always go. I need my cereal. Cereal and milk. I need cereal. I need some bananas. Milk and cereal. Milk and cereal. Bananas. Get some apples. <laughs> you got to bring food into the rally because there's not a lot of food they sell at the rally. And the line at the rally for, for, their, for their very little food last time was insane. So, uh, so we got to get some snacks. Aaron, are you going to get any snacks? Um, possibly. I don't know. Like last what? time, I feel like I should, because last time I bought a water. And it was like $8? Well, no, they poured it into a cup. Yeah. It wouldn't allow me to bring the 20-ounce water bottle. It's, and having a cup up there with all that camera equipment, yes. is not a good idea. So you, I, We'll, we'll, we'll go tonight and get the little bottles, and then you should bring them with you for setup, and then you can leave them there during setup, and then they won't, they don't care. Yeah, luckily Maggie was kind enough to bring me a water later in the day, and hmm. she yeah. can, you know, to be honest, like, like no. Thing. Maggie, no, they're like, here, go ahead. <laughs> this is someone yeah. who's constantly stealing my food. I don't steal Has never bought it. anything for me. It's fair yet... game if it's in the kitchen. It's oh, that's the rule? Oh my gosh, if that was the rule, I would kill my siblings. It's fair game if it's in the it's kitchen. It's not the rule. That's nobody's rule. <laughs> Coming from a baby of five, like, no. It's not like I go in your bag and get it. Oh, oh it's in the kitchen, so it's fair game. Wait a minute. It's in I the may go in your bag and get it sometimes. <laughs> Never you have, haven't it's you? <laughs> Look, man, water is water. You're supposed to <laughs> I remember was in Ohio when I went. We went to Walmart and I got cereal and like I asked for you. I want you wanted it. You said no. And then I oh saw you the next morning gosh. and like you had this like very guilty look on your face as you ate I a mix have... of like several of my cereals all at once. <laughs> you mixed them all together. <laughs> I wanted to see what all the. You didn't want to get the family size either. You were like, that's No, last time we got the family size shares, we spent 20 cents extra of, uh, of money, of our money at Rar's Band because mm -hmm. we wanted to make sure Maggie had enough cereal to steal. Mm -hmm. Liz, you don't eat cereal? I love cereal. I was just singing a song about it. Are you kidding oh. me? No, I love it. What's your favorite cereal, Liz? Cereal. What's your favorite cereal? I love... Cheerios, Honey Nut Cheerios, Fruit Loops, Frosted Flakes, Apple Jacks. Okay. I love every cereal. Aaron, yourself? Oops, Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Captain Crunch is a big one. Captain Crunch. Yeah. Yeah. With yeah. the Crunch Berries? Yeah. Do you ever get Oops All Berries, Aaron? No. They make Oops oh, All Berries. Lucky Charms. I could go on. I'm just going to stop. <laughs> 
Jason Dorn says Maggie popcorn theme. Haha, <laughs> they still know Maggie. Wasn't that y'all's yeah. first rally, like Florida? Yeah, Florida. When she. That was so long ago. Six rallies ago. That's like over uh, six months ago. When did that have been over six months ago? Like Jan, February? Maybe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. It's funny, usually, so it's, it's like, what time is it now? It's like 11 Eastern time now, but normally. It feels like it should be later because normally we do these chats very late, but it's only 8 p.m. Phoenix time, so which is good. We get to sleep a little. We do get some sleep, huh? Yes. Yeah. I'm gonna look at their questions for a second. See. So if if we're out there in the line tomorrow, if people see us like walking around and stuff, can they just come up and like yes, start talking to us? Yes, come up and say hi and say we we often meet people who are RSBN viewers and we interview them. But even if you don't want to be interviewed on the air, come up and say hi to us. We'd love to meet you. Uh, somebody mentioned cookie crisp. I used to eat those. Hey, we should also mention real quick um, that if you want to donate and help cover, help us cover this rally, because there are four of us here, mm -hmm. and uh, we have Airbnb expense, we have $1,800 internet expense, we have car expense, so we want to not lose money covering these rallies, but we're covering it anyway. But we really appreciate, the, appreciate your donations because you help us cover the rally. Also, you help us be on the air covering breaking news like last night when we were covering, was it last night? Yeah, we were covering the Navy destroyer accident story that the mainstream media refused to start covering, but we were covering it live. So you help us do that. So if you want to donate, you can go to the YouTube chat room right next to the broadcast and click on the dollar sign at the bottom of the YouTube chat room, or go to rsbn.tv slash donate. Mm -hmm. I forgot to say one other thing, whatever. Oh, thank you to the moderators. Thanks, guys. We love you. We love and, what you do. I love you. <laughs> and you Jude, Jude, I remember the business cards. Oh, we got to donate. Uh, here, Aaron, read this about donation. Donation. Arnold Matrix, 1717. Trump, Trump, Trump. What's the 1717? I think it's 2017, maybe. I don't know. Okay. $17.17. Thank you. That's from Arnold Matrix. Oh, who wants to read this one? Someone read one. Aaron, read this one. All right. We have Zero Pool 527. $10. Thanks for bringing us the best. Best rally coverage. Thank you, Zero. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. Joe, what did Joe say? Oh, Joe said today the solar eclipse video has over one million views. That's oh. insane. There we go. A million views. And my awesome. War Eagle. Yeah, girl. none of us watched the. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're all gonna have to. Watch I watched some of Bright Side's coverage. I didn't yeah. figure. Uh, I didn't assume there would be some amazing coverage out there to watch, though. Our girl Elizabeth Luker donated another twenty dollars, even though she said she was going to bed like. 15 minutes ago. Wow. She said, okay, sorry, not to bed yet, but I wanted to put my opinion in on Omar's race. Navarro is running against Waters, and people in that district need to get out and vote. She has nothing more than a poverty pimp. She's the poverty pimp. She's pimping that poverty over there. I agree. I totally agree. Uh, Joe wanted to let us know also that right now the solar eclipse video says 500,000, but it's going to be a million. It's just the, the, video, the views haven't caught, caught up. Joe has, has access to secret information which tells them exactly how many views there are so far. Sometimes YouTube's a little behind on that in public. Uh, I lost your chat, let me, let me call it back up. Light switch, thank you so much. Trump, 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 that's very nice. Thank you, light switch just donated 20 bucks. Really? Thank you, light switch. Oh, I just came up here too. We all kind of get these like notifications at different times, so if you, I, it or if, you, if we missed it, we don't say anything. Like, please message us. We're all trying to read. I just heard text. Carl Peterson's going to be at the rally. Hmm? Carl Peterson is going to be at the rally. He's a longtime viewer. I don't know if he's a moderator, but he's definitely a longtime viewer. So, Carl, come say hi. Did, oh, look who made a that's donation. That's not who used to mess with you, is it? No. You see him made a donation? Yeah, Jacob Seals. That sounds hmm. familiar. Who is that? I think he works for the network. Oh, he's one of the founders of the network. <laughs> I was just kidding. Jacob okay. says. You are all the future of the Danish territory. May you look above and beyond and underneath and look and find what he is searching for. Thank you, Jacob Seals. Mm -hmm. Hey, Jacob Seals. You get more special by the day. Jacob Seals, I saw you posted you wanted looking for somebody to help you sing on the fourth RSBN album or something. It's kind of interesting. Well, oh, I have donation. the voice of Jesus and Fergie combined. Aaron's turn to read a donation. Freedom Fighter, two dollars. I'll put in two bits to continue watching RSBN. Thank you, Freedom Fighter. Thank you, Freedom Fighter. And what else did I want to mention? 
Is marijuana legal in Arizona? Steve, I believe you can answer this question. We looked it up at dinner. Uh, I, it was, <laughs> Casual uh, dinner conversation. No, uh, only medical marijuana is legal in uh, Arizona. Steve, you should read the next. Did you see Tad's donation? Yes, I'll let Aaron read it. Aaron, go. All right, from Tad under it, $50. Thank you. And he says, thank you all for what you're doing. Steve, that guy called you out on air again today, saying you steal feeds. Golden times, I think. I defend her on. Hey, Joe, do you maybe Joe want to get on the air uh, and just say something audio-wise about this Golden State Times guy? Mm -hmm. Let me know if you want to, Joe, because you know, you know way more about this than me. So let me know if you're going to do that, Joe, and we'll let you go on and say something. Because he's calling us out saying we're stealing stuff. So. How is that even possible? Like, literally, you can see that. Oh, hold on. I, I just have to call Joe real quick. So hang on. Hold down the fort, guys. That's so. Golden State has been stealing our feed since before I was at RSVN, and kind of wild because you can literally physically see that we're most at we're at most of the big events, and if not, then we have spoken to someone who's licensing their feed for us to use. So why haven't I heard of this guy? Hmm. Which guy? Golden State. Because they're losers. Oh. It's like a loser YouTube channel that just like literally like copies. Oh. Like, you can, they'll be streaming something live on YouTube, but you can literally see like RSP's logo in the corner. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and they're going to tell us that like we're stealing it or something. Right, so hold on. So Joe, Joe, I have Joe here. Joe, so you want me to hold the phone up to the, to the I, iPad? All right, so Joe's going to tell you about Golden State Times guy. Whoa, we just got a hundred bucks. Oh, hold on. From who? I don't know, but they put my name in it. Well, I don't like it already. Oh, you might not like it though. Aww. What does it say? Very nice. Thank you, Jason. Jason sent it. That's nice. Yeah. Hey, so Joe Love Seals. You. Joe Seals is going to talk about right now about um, Golden State Times guy. Go, Joe. All right. So I don't have. Any, I'm not going to say anything bad about anybody or call anybody out on air because we don't do that here. We take the high road here at RSBN. We don't do that kind of stuff. But I think it speaks for itself. All of the other channels on YouTube, not just him, but. Um, None of these channels on YouTube that you watch the rallies on, or that you see President Trump's speeches on, or anything like that, none of those channels are real companies. None of them have cameras at the event. So they're all taking feed from, uh, you know, ABC or any of the other, and they're stealing them and then passing them off as their own, really just to make a quick buck. And uh, I think. Yeah, that's pretty obvious when you look at our coverage of rallies and things and see your breaking news coverage and you see actual live people wearing right side shirts we have right side microphones and we're representing there and uh you never see that on any of these other streams so i don't even think that's worth the response from, from these channels that do that i would just say that um you know we we do everything legit here and uh it's, it's one of the things that uh, it's very important to us is, is to be ethical and to not uh, not take things that uh, we're not allowed to take. So that's all I'll say about that. Awesome. Thank you, Joe. Alrighty. Bye. That was CEO Joe Seals. Very well put. Okay, let's see what they're saying. White well, worldwide, my opinion on what you're saying in this conversation, I think you're an idiot. So we got another donation. You can leave. I'm going to let Aaron read another one. All right, here we go. Uh, from Mr. Nicktown, 50 bucks. He says, thanks for always, always giving it a fair shake, guys. MAGA times three. Yep. Also, Steve is awesome. Hey! Yay! Thank Agreed. you, Mr. Nicktown, for the donation and the nice words. Also, Keith McLeod gave $5 and said, Steve, you're not wearing pants. Parade driver. Wait, mm -hmm. is Keith the Cloud Parade Driver? I believe he is. Yes, he is, he is, he is. That's who we met. Yeah. Hi, Parade Driver. Oh, I remember Parade Driver. That's been a long time. That's Pepe. I'm wearing shorts. Pepe. <laughs> oh, and we got a donation in PayPal. Maggie, you can read that one. Um, it just went off. Joe Seals, 66. No, plus. Joe Seals didn't donate. What are you wanting me to read exactly? You think I'm telling you that? <laughs> what you're wanting me to read? Joe Seals created the network. I know that. Oh, my God. He, this is Here what, we go. Here <laughs> we go. It's no, I'm going to just read. All right. Joe Seals 66 Classic donates $20 in PayPal. So Joe is telling us this. Thank you. Thanks, Joe. Thank you, 66 Classic. 
Very nice of you. Thank you. I'll explain text messaging to you later. <laughs> you're gonna love it. How do you reach like friends of yours when you're out? We usually just talk in person. Do you call and like leave a message on their on their tape answering machine? Oh my god. We write letters mm -hmm. and then the pigeon delivers it. Sometimes an owl if you're lucky. You know, speaking to what Joe was saying, Joe was saying that they have, we have cameras on the ground and we're actually there at these physical, physically there at these events. One of the things I thought was really interesting was getting to see you guys, you know, interview the people and ask them questions and not being a reporter and just having you guys, you know, have a conversation and ask questions that stuff that I would have never thought of and getting to hear a different viewpoint from people. I found that pretty, you know, pretty cool. Thank you. No, and like, we're not all, we're, not, we're certainly not professional reporter. Well, you're a professional <laughs> reporter, but I'm not. Liz, maybe you are too. Well, I'm not a professional reporter, but I think we try to ask questions like normal human beings and not sort of like the kind of questions you always see on like the standard, you know, news channel interview. We try to, we, we like to give our, uh, we, we just want to hear what they have to say. That's really it. Oh, we got another donation. It's not from Joe Seals. It's from Lynn Jean. Thank you, moderator Lynn Jean, $20, Woo! Thank you. Hey, Music World, and a uh, happy birthday to Christine Bestian. Oh, happy birthday, Christine. Happy birthday. You know... What, Mar Margaret? Nothing. You can say something. Um... Am I single? I guess. <laughs> That's a it's question. It's complicated. For... <laughs> Guys, the stream has to end before the rally, which is at... 7 p.m. tomorrow, so we can't go off on that <laughs> tangent. Um, I would like to just put you all like in a room together and just like watch it, because I feel like at the end of it, like one person would walk out of that. A vibe? And I think it might be Maggie. <laughs> I think Maggie would walk out of it. <laughs> Sorry, Steve. <laughs> that was really funny. Thanks, Liz. You're welcome. It's really sweet. Girl power. <laughs> the Linus. Oh my See, the God. problem with having Aaron here is if it was just me and them two, I think they wouldn't gang up on me. Oh, but with needs... Aaron here, they feel like, oh, well, there's two guys, two girls, so now they yeah. can gang up on me. Oh. I, Aaron is nice, and I will not discredit him at all, but... Oh, he's very nice. He's, like, not, like... We're, he's new to me. Like, we're not going to gang up on him, but we can, like... I'm saying either it, way, it's like he makes it okay for you guys getting up on me. Somehow. Maybe. Yeah, he doesn't stop us. No, I'm not gonna stop. <laughs> they don't feel bad about doing it. I finally feel like <laughs> I have a voice. We got another donation. Maggie, you want to try doing this again? Uh, no. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Maggie, you he never loves play along. to make me do things. Well, I love to try to involve you in in, in our activities. All right, so Diego. We there was a time, by the way, when Maggie never would join us for a meal, <laughs> months, and finally she's coming around. She's swising up. Hey, read this. You know, you've worn <laughs> me down. <laughs> All right, so Diego Louie, forgive me for butchering your name. Uh, Sam's down fifty dollar donation. Thank you. I love the photograph, by the way. What is that up? Looks like some kind of tank, maybe. Awesome photograph, and thank you so much for showing us the love. Is it a plane? Thing. I can't I tell. Of a plane? It's an awesome photo, whatever it is. Yeah. Hopefully, it's not like something that actually would not be awesome if we saw it close up. Oh. But thank you for the That's donation. That's my knowledge. Oh, and Margaret, we have a donation, but it's to you, so you have to read it. Margaret, don't leave RSBN. Why did you leave AJ? Also, I heard you're getting your own show. This donation is only for Margaret. It's only for Margaret? Joe, are we allowed to accept the donation only for <laughs> Margaret? I'm taking a cut of that. <laughs> it's who, who who made it though, Margaret? Say the person's name. Um, Tad made it. Thanks, Tad. And Tad's been giving to us all night. All night. Thank you. So thank you for that. I'm gonna take it out of Steve's bag and popcorn later. You so deserve his popcorn now. <laughs> you can take his cucumber and tomato too. <laughs> Did you? Ever, I'm actually genuinely interested. Did you ever eat the nuts you bought last time? What? You bought a little thing of nuts last time and you put them in the bag. Remember? Did you ever eat them? I remember. I have so much better what? memory than you. Wait, maybe. I don't know. Uh, let's see here. 
I, like, I think it's really cool how that when the comments, the donations come up with the bar color and everything. Yeah, this is Aaron's first live broadcast with us, live chat. Aaron, have you done a YouTube live chat before? Ever? Never. No. Wow. Maybe your kids do it all the time, and now they're gonna think it's so cool that you can do it with them. Yeah, they. Yeah, my kids have their own YouTube channels. Every. Will your kids think you're a celebrity now because you've been on YouTube? <sighs> nah, <laughs> they're they're pretty tech savvy kids. You know, kids these okay. days. Why? Is everybody's writing four. Yeah, what's the four? Oh, it's like who's the best or worst. I bet it's who's the worst, and I'm number four. Oh, one for Liz, two for Maggie. So what are the fours? I don't think I want to know what the question was. <laughs> yeah, me either now. I'm not going to read the question. What's Strawberries and whipped cream? Fours for RSBN. Hey, Maggie, you got a uh, here's this for you. <sighs> when does Margaret's show start? So, but, but, we've been in the top, and thank you, Tad, again. <laughs> we made another donation. <laughs> we made Margaret. another donation for $5. Thanks, Tad. Thanks, Tad. Um, that's a good question. Yeah, cause seriously, the Bill of Rights has got right. Steve really picks on me, doesn't he? I know. I mean, like. I think I, I know when the show's gonna start. The time. Can I tell you? <laughs> well, in theory, it starts when we get everything shipped to my home in Los Angeles, and I'm working on that. So you, you don't want to hear my answer. That, uh, well, okay. Uh, I won't say it. I'm they were clearing the chat. They're what? So no, but Maggie, Maggie, you're being mad towards you. Maggie, say you're saying when you get your stuff to your place in LA, you'll you'll do the right, show. Right. So you know, in DC, my place was an absolute fortune, and I wanted to be in Los Angeles for you know the past three months with a lot of stuff going on. That's been kind of personal and um, rounding a corner with it. And I think that we're going to start up probably next week. I think the goal was originally next Wednesday. And uh, Joe and I have been talking about the show name. By the way, guys, if you have any ideas for my show name, because we've tossed around a few, and I would love, like, you've got to keep it clean, folks, but I would love and there to. There we go. <laughs> Great job, Maggie. I would love some input because we really can't, uh, we kind of know what the format's going to be, and we're going to hopefully have just great guests for you. So I've been making lists of people that I really want to. I feel like Margaret's I Target. Wait, that doesn't even, that doesn't <laughs> rhyme. <laughs> Carry on. Well, we're thinking of doing the show in the morning. Um, so for me, it'll be very early. Morning, said Maggie. Yeah, we might end up having a morning, said Maggie. So, yeah. Thanks. Thanks for asking. Send me some um, suggestions, too. By the way, Liz, do you maybe want to say something? Because I think people are going to turn into a rally, like, in a few weeks and not see you here. Did, did you mention why you might not be around? I might not be around for roughly 90 days because I plan on going to Brazil for a little bit and studying Portuguese. So I'm really excited about that. And But then I'll be back. So a lot of you might be happy. You'll just get, you know, Steve, Maggie there yeah. for a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm coming back. So if you don't see Liz in a future rally soon, you know where she is. I'm trying to see the world while I, while I can. Yep. Tom O'Neill says Maggie's excellent adventure with an E G G for excellent. I think that's perfect. That's kind of strange. No, I like, I like it. Tom. I do too. I don't get it. What I are they, like what's Tom. the egg for? I guess it's the morning. Oh, it kind of just makes me think of like being a woman and having eggs. Oh, guess what? There's another donation. Oh, but it's not for Maggie. I see what he's doing. No, you're just trying to put it like pit us against each other. Yeah. <laughs> You go, Tad. Liz, read, read about the donation. But though. thank you, Tad, anyways. For Liz, thank you for everything. I miss your old show. I just found the old episodes. Um, I really appreciate that. Yeah, well, Liz, what is that show called if people want to see some of your old episodes? Right side now with Liz Willis. But I was, uh, a, ba I was a baby. I, w I was so nervous on most of those shows because I had, like, literally just gotten there and lived my first day at RSBN. Like, we, we went live, so I'm kind of... Kind of embarrassed of them, even though I know I should be proud, but I feel like I could do so much better now that I'm so comfortable with like Steve and Joe and the producers that we had. So um, we definitely covered some really good points. So if you want to watch them, go ahead. But um, I also got a lot of constructive criticism, which I read all of it um, and I am taking it to heart and I've been working on it. So thank you. I have a question I want to ask Aaron, which is, Aaron, what is it like uh, shooting through a camera the president of the United States? It's pretty awesome. Um, do you get like really nervous when you're shooting the broadcast and you, it's the president there? No, it's it, it, a lot of it is just making sure that you're ready and prepared. You know, the camera's plugged in, the stream's working. 
So the nervousness comes a little bit beforehand. Okay. And making sure you're prepared, and then once it happens, um, you're, it's kind of just like being in the zone. Very cool. I guess, but yeah, I, I think it's a pretty big honor. Um, you know, we're, our camera's up there with, you know, CNN, NBC, Fox, Radio. You actually have like a better position than CNN sometimes. Yeah. Every time. Yeah, it, it's, you know, I mean, they give us really good treatment. So, uh, yeah, I think it's a pretty, pretty big honor. Awesome. And we got a couple more donations here, too. Uh, BD Wilkie gave us $5 Canadian. And what is this one? Oh, Mr. Nicktown gave $50 and says, let's see some high fives for a pregame pump it up session. Woo! Woo! Now he's not gonna do it. <laughs> well, she'll sort of passive aggressively do it. See, she's not really part of the group. She's sort of just doing the minimum possible. Oh my god! Wow, <laughs> that was harsh. Why did I say that? <laughs> oh boy! <laughs> Man! <sighs> right, hey, write some questions in. We'll answer some questions. Oh, Brian Bulgari B Bugliari says, please share donation instructions. So, Aaron, what's a way people can donate and help us uh, pay off the expenses for covering this rally if they want to donate? Um, since the expenses were significant, um, it definitely, they, on the video in the description, you can see uh, numbers where you can click on the number and, you know, donate that amount or through PayPal. How can they do it through PayPal? RSBN.tv slash donate. That's through PayPal. Mm -hmm. RSBN.tv slash donate. And if you're watching on YouTube, go to the bottom of the chat room, as Aaron was talking about, just click on the dollar sign. <clears throat> At the bottom of the YouTube chat, click on the dollar sign, you can donate that way. Maggie, you look like you're going to say something. No, I just, I want to make sure that I, I say thank you for every time we ask you guys to donate to our network, uh, we really believe in what we're doing. And we want to be here. We were talking about that when we got off the plane. All of us feel so lucky to be a part of of these rallies and I personally feel like we're part of history like we get to come and we get to cover these and there's nothing like seeing the love that people have for our country and when you touch it it's just it's electric and it's energy and it's so amazing and you leave feeling I always leave feeling really inspired um, and it never gets old hearing the president of the United States in person and he's really made himself accessible to people and because of you guys we get to come and record it which is Really an honor. Honestly. And we were talking at dinner about how a number of people last rally came up to us and said, it's so lucky, you're so lucky to get to do what you do. So you guys allow us to do it and we allow, you allow us to bring this programming to you and we really uh, do enjoy uh, bringing you coverage of the rallies that you can't really get anywhere else. You're not gonna get in the mainstream media, I'll tell you that, but no one really covers the rallies like we do, even close. So should we tell them like what our game plan is tomorrow so they know like when to tune in roughly? I know it's not official, but... Yes, but idea. before you do that, Anthony Lewis DeWitt gave $50 in PayPal. Thank you, Anthony. Also, uh, when you donate at rsbn.tv, you can use either PayPal or credit card. Joe wanted me to pass that along. Yes, tell them what our game plan is for tomorrow, Liz. Well, someone also wants to know how long we've been dating. So do you want to break the news to him? <laughs> I think probably in the chat room, there's been some speculation about all combinations of the four people here <laughs> dating. Yeah, okay, we're just kidding. That's never, no. Um, love Steve, but no. Uh, so we, I guess we haven't totally discussed it as a group yet. The official, like it officially starts with President Trump at 7. We'll probably go in. What time is re-entry? 4. Re-entry is at 4, and we like to be like going in at 4 just to make sure everything's the way it should be. And we'll, we interview from the inside. Um, so we're probably starting but before two that, o'clock. Yeah, when are, we starting, when are we starting interviews outside? Right? I'm thinking 2, 2, 2, 2, 30. 2, 2 30. Depending if it's like super hot, like unbearably, maybe 2.30. So that'll be Pacific time. So basically around 2, 2.30 Pacific, 5, 5.30 Eastern is when we'll start with the outside interviews. And then we'll do outside and then we'll be, then we'll burn to death. And so at that point, Joe will make some emergency city. phone calls and hire some other people to do the rest of the rally <laughs> coverage from 4 p.m. on. Joe, I realized, I, I was like, I wish I had an RSBN hat to wear tomorrow because it would be so hot out. And then Liz is like, I think there are some RSBN hats. Somewhere. I have one. I should have brought one, Joe. But we got to remember that next time. I can't share it because if anyone out there has like dark hair, almost black, they know that it attracts heat more than anything else. Like this, the top of my head will literally burn you in the sunlight. So that, that hat's going to be on my head tomorrow. Joe says, I already gave you one. Joe, I don't think I have it. Maybe he gave it to me and he thinks he gave it to you. Or maybe I bought. 
Joe says he got he has more. Okay, Joe, I'm gonna get one when I come back so I can wear it at the broadcast. We're no longer wearing like our it's crazy that we've been all together so long. We went from freezing together during the winter in Nashville, you know, sharing jacket RSB yeah. and jackets to now it's burning hot in Phoenix and we're trying to share hats. We need to go somewhere where we can romp around and fall leaves. Seventy degrees. Mm -hmm. No, so Phoenix, somebody said Phoenix is mountain time. The thing is, though, I think it's in the mountain region, but I don't know if it's a daylight savings thing. They are actually at the same time. Google what time it is in Phoenix right now, guys. It's the same time as in L.A. I want to look it up. Why is it like that in Phoenix? Phoenix, Pacific, or mountain. And Phoenix does not use, utilize daylight savings time. That's why it's, it's Phoenix right now is the same as Pacific time. Uh, oh, we got a message. Hold on a sec. Joe says, Crazy Mike 372 is requesting you check your email while on air. Check That's your setup, email. Setup. Okay. <laughs> I wonder what it's going to be. Um, should I read this part of it or not? Hey, Steve, look well, here. Yeah, Who are all the pretty ladies? I'm used to just looking at you. How refreshing. Who are the pretty ladies? Wait, I, you, you took it away. Oh. I had no idea what's going on in the White House right now. Can you tell us what's going on? Oh, Michael Smoker. Is Smoker your real last name? Wow. I'm just asking. Turn up. What? No, God. Um... So he's asking you a question about Bannon and um, the mainstream media is having a field day with the chaos. The mainstream media isn't having a field day with the chaos. The mainstream media is creating the chaos, perpetuating the chaos, lying and saying that there is chaos. You know, if you look at the, at the past six months with the Trump presidency, he's faced so many people who hate him, want to destroy him from the inside of the system, from the outside of the system, from the media. And, you know, I, every time I hear about President Trump and the, and the chaos of his administration, it just makes me want to scream because, you know, looking at this from inside the bubble, it seems to me that the chaos is created out there. My humble opinion. Thank you. So, By the way, we just got an amazing donation. Aaron, tell them about this donation. From CC. So is that anonymous? Basically, CC, $200. Wow. What'd what they say? I sure hope you guys get this. Keep up the good work. Thank you so much, CC. That's Thank very kind you. of you. Yeah, we did get it. Is that on YouTube or PayPal? PayPal. Oh, no, YouTube. Mm -hmm. And then we got a donation yeah. from Tom O'Neill. Tom says, I've got the perfect name for Maggie's new morning show, Patriot Sunrise with Margaret Howell. Here you go. Thank you, Tom. Although I like good. Maggie's excellent adventure better. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Do we know who any of the other speakers will be tomorrow? Uh, I don't know. That's I feel like they've never released that before, have Sometimes, they? Sometimes, like, Eric Trump shows up or Laura Melania Trump, Trump is always there. Or Melania shows up. I mean... She's usually there. She's usually there. She's a pretty good speaker. Uh, who else? You know, I've, I don't think I've ever seen Melania speak at any of the rallies I've been to. Okay. But I've seen Laura... It's neat when she comes. Yeah. I, want Baron, I want Baron to speak. Maybe one day. I think that if I were his parents, I would continue to not let him speak. Oh, I understand shield that. shield him from all yeah. I'm just being selfish and wanting to have a hearing. Yeah, that would be cool. I don't even know what his voice is like, but I, for the sake of him, I don't... They would just tear him apart just like they'd tear anything apart, so... Maybe he'll do an RSBN interview. Um, Baron? Maggie, would you ever have Baron Trump on Maggie's Excellent Adventure? I that would be love, so cute. I am such a supporter of you, Baron. If you ever watch Right Side Broadcasting, we love you. And you really do an excellent job of representing the first kid. That, that's that got to be really tough. You're so scrutinized. And, you know, I feel a responsibility as a reporter when you've got all these crazies out there, you know, slamming the first family and these personal attacks. We feel the need to rush and defend you. So we absolutely love you. And uh, stay, stay strong would be my message to Baron. He's doing an excellent job as the first kid. And He's yeah. doing an excellent job. Excellent job. job. <laughs> oh my gosh. I can't imagine having that type of pressure. You never really get used to like scrutiny. 
even like reading like chat rooms like on this there's always someone who doesn't agree with you but to be under that kind of pressure i mean multiply this by millions that honestly god bless him and everything they have to deal with it's tough mm -hmm. thank you tom o'neill maggie if you could have like one special guest on your show like who is the person you oh would want most? Well, I made a list Besides of people that aren't the president. Well, obviously, getting to interview President Trump. I have like secret idols that I, you shouldn't have idols because people are just people. Um, but I I made this list of like lesser known people that are really making a difference in media and in politics. And uh, one of them is a C CNN commentator. I'll see her occasionally. Her name's Brunel. And she's this fabulous Trump supporter, and she's so beyond smart. Her points are excellent. I'm really wanting, and I've reached out to her on Twitter, and I believe she said she'd do it. So, you know, just people that are making a difference like that, that stand up and say what they think, I kind of want to go after them more than, like, some famous pie-in-the-sky type person. That's awesome. Yeah. I like it. And they probably had the less PR, like... You know, when you go for like super famous people, a lot of what they're telling you, it's like what their PR agents tell, tell them to say. That's true. So you're going to get a lot more authentic interviews. I love, I am a huge fan of Diamond and Silk. I literally, I, I, I've nearly passed out. I've interviewed these ladies before. Hopefully they'll come on, on this show. Um, and they're so gracious and so funny. And they're really under attack um, with the YouTube censoring and their revenue, just as we are. You know, YouTube, it's hired something called the ADL that's been policing YouTube for conservative media sites just like ours and they're censoring advertising money and I've had colleagues say that they've been censored and then Diamond and Silk have been censored and it's really a fight to stay on the air and to make money if you're, if you're in conservative media. So We got a donation from Mr. J.D. Shellnut, $10. says, Steve, tell us about Seinfeld. Damn, I googled you and found out all the cool stuff you did. By the way, I'm breaking now from the other chat. My account got suspended. I don't know why, but I thank you for the donation. But I'm not going to talk about that stuff now. It takes us off topic. We don't want to be off topic. Because we so have such a fixed topic. On for this topic, chat. is it confirmed that the seating at the rally tomorrow is going to be 29,000? Like that's what? That's what I've seen a couple comments, and they say like it it seats 29,000. Phoenix Convention Center is that what it is? Yeah, you want to Google that? And see, yeah. See. That sounds. That seems like too much. It does seem like a lot, but I'll tell you what I am guessing they're going to do based on my experience at other rallies is that they uh, they section some of it off, but you can't really tell because it'll be like a banner or something. But you know, parts of it will be sectioned off. So even if it's a twenty nine thousand seat arena, I think you know they'll have. I don't think they're going to. But it might be twenty nine thousand people total. Hold on. Yeah, that's what I would think. But I mean, maybe like the arena part is one part of the convention center. Like the bottom and then the seats. I, I can't uh, hold on capacity. Like Let's the see. Pit. Phoenix Sorry. convention center capacity. Oops. It's not giving me an easy answer. Uh, the lower level exhibition hall. Well, I think there's different buildings. I don't know. We'll we'll try to get a read on this tomorrow. Oh, so we will be tweeting out stuff tomorrow from live updates from the rally. Mm -hmm. So if you want to get live updates for the rally, Maggie, where should they go to on Twitter? Well, you should follow all of us on Twitter. Well, you you should fo also follow RSBN. So oh, that's a good one. Um, yeah, RSBN Network. And what I what are you doing? RSBN Network. <laughs> well, I'm saying you go and then you go. <laughs> Yeah. So you go. You can also follow me on Twitter if you like, and I love it when you guys tweet me your comments. I always try to respond. I'm at Margaret J. Howell. Yeah. It was kind of soft. Do you want to maybe say it again? At Margaret yeah. J. Howell. Liz, where can they follow you on Twitter? I feel like my Twitter. What? I don't know. I'm you don't at... want them to follow you? No, I mean, you're welcome to, but it's not like. Yeah, I like you're... to post more funny stuff. Oh. I don't know. What, do you not want them to post, see your personal stuff? You can. It's at underscore Liz Willis, but... Um, maybe maybe they'll like it. Yeah. No? We'll see if we have the same sense of humor in life. And they more. can always unfollow you if they don't like it. Or you can just mute me or block me. Yes. We'll see. Uh, but, yeah, I like to see what y'all have to say. Aaron, you're not on Twitter yet, are you? 
I am, but I don't utilize it at all. I, I, so don't don't, I, I browse. Yeah, don't follow me. I browse. Yeah, I do too. I'm kind of using mine less and less. Like, I read it every morning, afternoon, like all day, but I don't actually post stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I find, I find so. There's, there's so many interesting people that I don't have anything to add to a I lot think of you do. What's already there. But, yeah, I think it's a cool place to learn. Well, if you start. Well, we'll tell you what Aaron Davis is when he starts posting stuff. I am at at Lookner at L-O-O-K-N-E-R. We love you guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Wait, are you ending? No, just getting that out there, just in case. Around 2.30? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Around, that's right. So we're going to go set up. He's obsessed with me. I don't know why. I apologize. <laughs> just obsessed with me. Obsessed. You were doing a bit better tonight until um, that moment. Okay, so anyway, we go and set up at 10, and Gosh. then we come back at 2.30, and we're going to jump in the crowd and start talking to people. We hope to meet all of you. We'll see you there. We do, we should, we, we, we do have to go kind of soon, though. We're, we're going to be at 90 minutes in five minutes. Let's, let's say five minutes from now. So we always say that. We'll be here in like 30 minutes, y'all. <laughs> stay tuned. I'm just kidding. Steve has to go to Walmart. Steve is the heart of ours. We love you guys. Bye! Really quickly. This is a good, what is wrong with you? You're like a nut bag. You're a bag of nuts. I'm just gonna move over here. <laughs> Before I get hit on the next one. <laughs> okay, so yeah, so if you have any questions, get them in soon. Get them in soon. Jeez, I can't believe it's almost been 90 minutes. Time flies when you're. Thank you for all your donations so far. We really appreciate them. I That's gonna them. help us pay for the Dumb eighteen hundred dollar internet. The mixer monkey. Who yes. it, who does Selena Gomez look like? I don't know you, but I love Selena Gomez. And you're referring to one of us. So I'm gonna maybe assume you're referring to me. I just want to say that God bless because I'm obsessed with Selena Gomez. If you think I look anything like her, I see the resemblance. <laughs> it's just made up for the other comments today about how I'm not white and I don't deserve to be here. Hmm? I don't know if y'all said those, but they really uh -huh. bothered me. What? And they were in the comments. That's why I was mad at people. <laughs> oh, goodness. You don't deserve to know my ethnicity. Crazy people. Um, okay, so we have a few minutes left on the air. Get in your last questions if you have them. And if you want to make a final donation to help pay for this trip to cover the rally tomorrow, which we're very excited to cover, uh, you can go to rsbn.tv slash donate, rsbn.tv slash donate, where your name will come up on the screen. That's more affection than Maggie has shown me in all the months we've worked together. I'm nicer um, to her. And also, uh, you can go to uh, the YouTube chat room uh, and the dollar sign at the bottom of the chat room. You can donate that way. Aaron, do you have any final thoughts? Are you going to pre prepare for tomorrow in any kind of special way? Uh, I'm going to drink lots of water because it's going to be really hot. Yes, that's um, a good idea. No, I'm just gonna, I hope we're, I'm going to stick together with you guys and hopefully we don't run into too many protesters and, and yep. we'll have a good time. Do you have blue eyes? Maybe they're like hazelish maybe, sometimes. It depends on the light too, so. Very cool. What color eyes does your wife have? Brown. Brown eyed girl. Are all your kids brown eyed? Uh, my daughter has bluish eyes. I like messing with punny squares and figuring out how it works, but mine's never right. You know, figure know. out like the likelihood for eye color, what yeah, genetic yeah. traits and we pass through. Hmm. Fun fact. <laughs> Don't, you know. Yeah, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Oh, uh, the knob says, how is your internet $1,800? It's because there's a there's one company that some of the venues would have the rallies. It's a monopoly, and they can charge basically whatever they want, and they gouge everyone. What if yeah. we pay one time? We paid something even more ridiculous than that. Or maybe they asked for it and we fought them. Well, they asked for 8000 you know, I was going to say time. they asked for like 7000 They asked for 8000 this time. And it's not even like as good as some of the internet you have at home. It's ridiculous. That shouldn't even be, well, can't say that shouldn't be legal for the thing. So for some of the sense. technical people, basically we're getting an ethernet line that's running to the camera. Our own ethernet line. Yeah, so it's like, is, I don't know, does that internet stay after we're gone? No, they take it away. Yeah, so it's like a one day, come give us an ethernet line. And then after that, it goes away. But so we have to have it. We have to have it because we don't. We can't send you the broadcast. And by the way, yeah. Mr. Nicktown just gave fifty dollars. Said cake or death. Good night, guys. Have fun tomorrow. Thank you, Mr. Nicktown. Thank you, Mr. Nicktown. Mm -hmm. 
Maggie, we're gonna stop in like five minutes, but if you wanna stay on, we can you can stay here and go longer. When you guys don't see Steve tomorrow <laughs> <laughs> and you wonder where he might be. You sure you don't want like a midnight with Maggie? I'm segment telling time. you, this backyard <laughs> is pretty shallow. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> And I know where he's sleeping. <laughs> the master. I'm going to the guest house. I'm blocking myself from the guest house. <laughs> I will not be sleeping in this in this house here. <laughs> that would be wise. <clears throat> because I am a very light sleeper. I'm gonna come downstairs. Everybody oh, I'm gonna lock my door at night regardless. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright, we All have right. like one minute left. Where are we at 90 yet? Yeah, we just hit 90, so we gotta end this. I gotta go to Walmart and get food for everybody to steal from me. I gotta wash my face, go to bed. So, uh, thank you guys, it's, uh, we're looking forward to, we're looking forward to coming to the rally tomorrow. Oh, and wait, Mr. J.D. Shellnut said, uh, Angers gave $25, said, Angers me when you guys leave. Please stay, there are 450 of us watching. The thing is, we gotta get some sleep for tomorrow so we can do that tomorrow. Big guy, yeah. It's gonna be very hot outside. It's gonna be so hot. Wow. 103 is what? I think so. Water. And I don't know. I guess we'll see, right? Should be good. We're excited though. Uh, like we said earlier, we'll probably go live closer to 2.30 unless something changes. Um, and we will be interviewing the crowds from 2.30 to 4. Um, from outside the arena at 4 o'clock, we're going to go in, go through a media setup, and uh, get the show on the road. We'll start interviewing live from inside the arena. If you have any questions you want asked to the interviewees, just message us or comment in the chat. And um, you can message Lookner on Twitter. He's always checking his Twitter, so mm -hmm. that's a good way. JC wants me to live stream from Walmart. Not tonight. Maybe at some point we'll do a live Walmart live stream. I still have to eat at Waffle House like mm -hmm. I promised I would sometime. Um, what would you possibly order? Like a salad. I... Salad waffle. That's like the grossest thing I've ever heard. You don't go there and not get like a waffle. Or a patty melt. JC, I think if I, uh, or Lynn Gino, I think if I did a Walmart live stream at Walmart, I'd have to do it very covertly. I don't think they'd be very happy about mm -hmm. that. Haunted in Walmart. We can go ghost hunting in Walmart. That's what we'll do. That's an obscure RSBN reference for those of you who have been viewing us for a long time. Okay, uh, let's do this. Any uh, last words, anyone? Liz? See you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. And, um, Feel free to donate if you can't donate monetarily. Just um, please share our link, share it on Twitter, Facebook, any social media accounts. We really subscribe to us. Yeah, right? subscribe. Click down there. On YouTube. Or it's probably down there. I'm and click sure. the notifications bell too. Yeah. And yeah. Um, or follow us on Twitter. No, like us on Facebook. At RSB Network. At RSB Network. Okay, Maggie. Well, thank you guys for tuning in and for bearing with us tonight because some of us were very, I'm just joking. Seriously, we love being here. We'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> okay. Yeah, Aaron? Thank you. Yeah, subscribe. Thanks, everybody, for donating. And thank you for all the future donations. Uh, yeah, thank you all for watching and the donations and the moderators in the chat room and for Joe for producing this and for my co-hosts. And for the people of Phoenix for welcoming us until tomorrow. Hopefully they won't they won't unwelcome us tomorrow. And I'm gonna go to Walmart and get some awesome stuff. It's gonna be great. I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, so, uh, but thank you guys. So we'll see you really soon. Uh, and uh, join us tomorrow for the rally. We can't wait to cover it for you. All right. Have a good night, everyone. Should I click something or should?